Hello coders, welcome back you all in uh, another video. So in this video, I am going to discuss how you can use icons offline. Means there are many ways that you can add icons by using CDN. So that in that case, you have to be connected with your internet connection. Then you can use that icons. So otherwise, if you will be offline, then the, that icons will be not visible to your project. So that's why I am creating this video and one of my viewers have commented that create a video on how to use icons offline hey my name is f Raj. you are watching bcoder and if you are interested in web development and programming then please hit that like and subscribe button and let's start after this small intro <coughs> so here first of all what we have to do in your browser search font awesome download so here i am searching font awesome download and the first link you are seeing download font awesome free so this is the link so click click on it and i will provide this link in my description so you can directly click on that so here in this page you can see this is the download page and here font awesome 6 so this is basically the version 6.1.1 is the latest version here so we will download this one the free version for web free for web so this is the i mean the link so click on it and go into your download section it is like very small size of file so in my download section here you can see the font awesome free i mean font awesome free 6.1.1 and this is a zip file so if you are using windows uh, operate i mean if you are using windows operating system then it will be in i mean compressed so you have to extract that this file so i will open it here in my folder and i will double click on it so it will be extracted here so now so this is this is the file we have downloaded so what we have to do in our this is the demo file which we have i have created so in this file i am making an index file and i will show you so here what we will do in this first of all i will open my vs code so this you can see this is the demo folder here so inside this demo folder i will create a index.html file and a folder here i will create a another folder name with assets because everything like uh, bootstrap file images whatever you are using you should always keep that all extra files in the name of this asset folder so this is the asset folder and inside this one more folder we have to create that is font awesome so i will write font awesome so this is the font awesome and one more like you can make a css css file here i mean a folder so it is not necessary but i am making a css file so basically this is the main folder for us the font awesome folder in this folder we will add that i mean with whatever we have downloaded in that from the font awesome website so we will add something here so let's see what we have to add so first of all open this font awesome folder which you have downloaded and here you will see many things but we have to check this css file and this web font so this is the main two folders just remember this is one is the css file and one is the web font so inside the css file there is a one file that is all.css so we have to copy this file in that font awesome but before that we have to create a css folder inside that so what i am going to do i will create a this this css is another file for writing css but we have to create a css file i mean css folder inside this font awesome uh, folder so here i will create font awesome uh, css folder here and inside that css file so now i will open that demo file folder from here on the desktop so you can see this is the asset we have created and this is the css folder and this is this is the font awesome folder so inside this font awesome folder we have a css and here we have one web font folder so copy this folder and paste along with css means this is a css and this is a web font folder and inside this css file i mean folder we have to copy this all.css so just click here and paste this all.css so this is very easy you can uh, this is not very complex thing you have to only copy these two file and folders here in your project and now we have copied and now i will open my vs code here and inside this font awesome you can see in the css all dot css is present so now in the index file i will just we have to now link that all dot css file in our html file so i will write here link and i will write the provide i will, I will provide the path of that 
all.css so here it is inside the asset and inside the asset there is a folder font awesome so inside the font awesome we have created a css file folder and inside that there is all.css so this is basically the main thing we have to do so this this path is main css dot all dot css means this is the folder and this is the file and you can keep it anywhere so it is not important to create the name like you have to it is not much to give the folder name font awesome you can give it anything but this path should be same you have you can make any folder but inside that folder you have to create a css folder and then you, you will copy the all dot css inside that and now we have done these things so what we will do now we will add some icons so now you can see if you are now we will add the icons so let's once again click on this and i will here so here you can see a option here learn how to host font awesome yourself so this is a link so now you have to click on this link so i am click i have clicked here so now what we do we have to add some icons to test that it is working or not so here are some icons like just copy this i1 so i will copy this icon here and i will open this in my browser so now you can see this is a user icon and you can you are able to see it in the browser so this is working offline so you can in in this way you can add any icons of font awesome offline in your project so here let's test some more icons so i will click on this icon button and we will see some more icons that it is working or not so let's see so this is the icon folder i mean icons of list of icons so here you can click on any icon and copy it and let's paste it here so you can see it is visible in our browser so in this way you can add font awesome icons offline in your project and use it so if you like this video then please hit that like and subscribe button and see you in next video with any another topic of web development till then bye and take care